Alright, like last video, I was going to tell you that you how to line up all of the centers exactly how they're supposed to be lined up. You can't just line everything up however you want, unless you get extremely lucky. Now, there's a really random way that I memorize this, okay? But, what you do is you memorize this. Green on top, white on right, holiday colors. So you find the red. Now, because you can't mess any of this up, you do the center algorithm to move this red up to here. Center algorithm. Move that. Line that up. Center algorithm again. Ta-da! There you go. Now, if you get really lucky, like I did, you will know, you should know, through 3x3x3 three by three by three experience, white is opposite to yellow, red is opposite to orange. Sometimes, you, yeah, red's on the left, white's on the right, green on top, it's all holiday. Whatever, this might be orange, this could be yellow, it could be flipped like this and be correct, or it could actually be two lines. You just need to figure out how to get yellow center here, orange center here, and match all of this up. But there you go, you just solved all the centers. Congratulations! You've done the second lengthiest part of the cube. Here comes the first. Now, we need to solve the sides and make them all match. I look for an example. Or I'll just make one up. Should be able to make one up. Let me think. Yeah. Don't mind me, just didn't make a demo cube. There we go. We need to make sides like that. Two blues, two whites, both on the side, lined up with the center lined up with the same area, I guess, of the center. We need to make all the sides like that. You see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 12 sides to work with. Well, now 11, but... <clears throat> There's plenty of ways to do this. In fact, there are two methods. And I'm just going to show you the first one. The second one, um, that's just my own personal method. It's a lot harder than usual. So, all right. The best method for beginners and actually for some advanced players. Players. <laughs> players. Cubers. Uh, what you can do is think about it. Alright? If we're trying to line up sides, it's going to be obvious that you need common sense. Alright? This is where you need plenty of it. You see how that's red and yellow and red and yellow, and you need to line that up? No algorithms here. Absolutely none. What you need to do is you just need to match that up. Now, whoa, you just messed up the centers. Let's use some logic again, people. You move that up. You find an unsolved side, which is these three. You bring that around, put that down, and you, yeah, you make this back to where it was. Like from here... There you go. There's your solved side. Okay, so whenever you get through with that, you have to do that to the rest. There will be a case, and this is a very, well, it's a 50-50 chance. Remember, no demo cube. Give me some time. Alright, there will be a case where instead of being diagonal, green, red, green, red, it's exactly horizontal from each other. How do you fix it? Well, something I like to call the ultimate algorithm because this, I know it's such a long name, fancy, yeah, but it gets the job done. You have green, red, red, green. It doesn't matter if it's on the top or the bottom. Remember that. There's, there is a backwards way to do it, but cut that out. You don't need it. Remember, on both the top and the bottom, if this tends to happen, you can do the magic algorithm. L prime, R, up, front, up prime, L. Okay? And there you go. Your green, red, green, red. You got your diagonals. So you solve that like normal. Now, you just have to do that to the rest of the sides. Just using my own method. See my camera, whenever you stop it, just to try to get to a certain part, it actually counts as a whole video, and I can't 
afford to have seven videos on here about how to solve this beast. <clears throat> I have my own ways. We're, we're almost done. Just relax. I think we're almost done. Pretty sure we're almost done. there. Be patient. Please, 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 please be patient. I'm just begging you. Just please be patient. Oh, yeah. And wh sometimes whenever you do this right here, whenever you do this and you try to line it up and there's no unsolved sides, it's just going to mess itself up. So what you need to do is find an unsolved side somewhere else on the cube. Ooh, right there. Flip that up. Okay? So whenever you do this, you have an unsolved side to work on. And should be able to get to Yay, the final step. We're here. Pretty sure we're here. Okay. What there are some things you need to double check. Okay? Two things to double check. One, you need to make sure that all the other sides besides two are solved. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, they're solved. Okay, just check, because I don't need to check as much since I'm really good at this. I just can't solve it as fast as other people. But, um, here we are. You see how if you were to get red and white, red and white, if you were to do this, there would be no way that you can get a solved side. And you can't move this, because if you were to try to line that up, you would mess these two up. So, here's what you have to do. There are two steps. I mean, not two steps. There are two positions. This is the first one, and it's just 50-50. It's just mostly chance, depending on how you position it. But, whenever you're in this position, remember how the ultimate algorithm got you from red-white, white-red to where it was horizontal to diagonal? It can do the same thing backwards and with both sides because it's all ultimate. So perform the ultimate algorithm. And there you go. Red, white, white, red, green, orange, yellow, orange, orange, green. Now from here, you do the double algorithm. That's what I'm going to call it. Okay? And the, dub and the double algorithm goes like this. Down star, R, front prime, up, R prime, front, down prime star. And you've just solved all the sides. That's the first method for beginners and most advanced players. The second method is mostly mine, and I'm not going to teach it to you unless too many people request it. Now, um, from here, this is just exactly like a 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube. Remember, if you can't solve one of these, you're stuck. Okay, but think about it. Orange center. This is oh, this is almost like one whole cube right here. This two by one right here is almost like one whole cube. We're gonna pretend this is one whole cube. Okay, this is just a white and blue. One white, one blue. Same thing. So if you were to make the blue center, see, it lines up, just like a three by three. So you just solve it like that, and eventually. You should be able to get to it. See? Blue cross. And you try to get the blue corners. Like that. Do the right inverted, down inverted algorithm. Or, yeah. For the R prime, D prime. That's the bad thing. You can't really lubricate this cube as well because it falls apart way easier. See, look, you have the first layer and the rest. I'll teach you what might actually happen if something could actually happen whenever you solve the sides. See you next time. Uh, again, 